So I did not want to let August go by without celebrating summer's greatest star, which is an heirloom tomato. I just got back from Balsam Farm and every single tomato known to man was just sprawled out in front of me. And I didn't know what I was going to make for you guys today for this Ice When Unplugged. But when I saw all these tomatoes, I just wanted to make the simplest summer tomato salad. So I got a different variety of tomatoes. I also made sure to get different shapes, different colors, because I wanted that visual variation and really to have the tomatoes take center stage. I also grabbed a handful of fresh herbs. I always grab for basil and sometimes oregano, but I wanted to do something different. So I have tarragon, dill, and chives. I might just sprinkle those on top. I might make a little spicy, oily, kind of herby sauce. Also grabbed some of this fennel from Balsam Farm and I just thought that they would make a nice crunchy texture. And speaking of crunch, one of my favorite kind of textural elements that I do in a lot of dishes across every season is to take these kasha, which is really buckwheat oats, and toast them up in a little butter or olive oil or coconut oil, anything. But they get really crunchy, they get really nutty, and I thought that they would just be a really nice um, textural counterpart to kind of those like soft and sweet tomatoes. I might do a couple of thin slices of feta. I have some Bulgarian feta that I also got at the farm. Just some olive oil, maybe a little bit of citrus and acid. I also have some peaches. I love peaches with tomatoes. So we might kind of wedge these, cut these into wedges. Um, so anyway, let's dive in. Let's see what we make. If you can go to the farmer's market and get some super sweet, delicious tomatoes. I have some dill here. Chop a handful. I also have some tarragon. So you'll see I just did a small handful of each of those, if you really want to measure, maybe one third cup, but eyeball it. The chives. I have a jalapeno here. So I'm going to put that in, I would say maybe that was like a half or one teaspoon of chopped jalapeno. Next up I have this fennel and these are baby fennel. What I will do is trim the end. So I have my mandolin here. Everybody asks me what mandolin this is. I get it on Amazon. These nice feathery bits of fennel. I just did one but by all means I definitely can use more. So we have those herbs and the jalapeno here. I'm gonna pour in some high quality olive oil. This is from Sicily. Some flaky Malden sea salt. I also have this amazing honey vinegar from SOS Chefs. So I'm gonna put a little bit of acid in there. Before I cut it to squeeze it, I may as well zest it because zesting is kind of where all the flavor is at. Give this a taste. Mm, yes, I just brightened it all up. Toast our kasha, so I'm going to get just a little bit of coconut oil, just a handful. If you want to measure, I would say, again, maybe one third cup. And I'm gonna toast this up right now. Put a little bit of sea salt. Okay, we have everything prepared and now let's get to our tomatoes. I picked a few different ones that were in varied colors. Nice, clean slices. So beautiful. I'm 
conflicted whether I want to put the peaches on or not, to be perfectly honest, because the tomatoes just look so beautiful. But I do love that sweet savory combo, so why not? So I'm going to cut these into little wedges. So I have my friend Cameron's beautiful platter from Bo Rush. I think you guys know I have a collaboration with her for those sweet petite bowls that I use for my Palo Santo. Okay, so just starting to build this plate. Haphazardly putting different colors and different shapes fennel. Okay, so I told you guys I had Bulgarian feta. Oftentimes I like to crumble feta, but for this dish there's already so many elements that I just want to do a sliver. And you don't want it to be too perfect because then it just looks like a rectangle, right? Drizzle this on all of that goodness. And guys, if you're in a pinch, if you're having a dinner party, or if you just don't have the time to chop this, this would totally work with just tearing fresh herbs and a drizzle of olive oil. You certainly don't need to make the sauce. The success of this dish is more on those fresh tomatoes than anything. Right, here are those chives, jalapeno. Right here is my toasted kasha. And I'm just gonna ever so slightly drizzle that on. Okay, this looks so delicious. I'm just gonna give it one little zesting of lime and a little bit of flaky sea salt, a little fresh cracked pepper, and then just to give it a little bit more juice, that lime, and this right here is summer on a plate.